Afternoon Live. Our next guest is always making something from absolutely nothing. We welcome back do-it-yourself expert and salvage designer Shannon Quimby. Shannon! Hey. Well, all right, hold on a second. What do you have in your hand and what exactly are we making today? Yeah, right? Well, we're actually going to be making refrigerator magnets. Oh, that's so cool. I love, you know, I collect refrigerator magnets. So I think this is really going to be cool. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, this is my makeshift um, refrigerator um, cookie sheet. <laughs> it's a cookie sheet. How do you have it sitting up there so perfectly? <laughs> that's a secret. Okay, for another day, for another day. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but wait, how are you, what does the stick there have to do with this? Yeah, so I don't know about you, but I'm going on so many walks. Yes. Um, Right, I have a dog and he's loving it. Um, one of the best things that I like to do when I DIY is I like the help of Mother Nature. Okay, okay. And so, yeah, so I basically just brought a branch home um, from the park. And this one asks, this one's about an uh, inch in diameter. I really wasn't worried about that too much, but I'm just giving you a visual on this. Okay. And so then what you wanna do is you need to get a saw this is called a hacksaw, this one. It's like so cute, it's so little. I know, yeah, and it's very doable, right? It's not so overbearing, like one of those big, huge, like, wood saws. Exactly. Yeah. So then there's also, this is um, this is called a jab saw, just because it jabs with cut branches. But okay. if you don't, you know, Trey, if you don't have a saw, I'm sure there's a neighbor that might have um, a miter saw, chop saw, that's just like, shh, just like slices it all up. I like your sound effect. Oh yes. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to my neighbor and say, do you have one of these? Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? He or she's gonna go, I know exactly what you're gonna do. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so let's say we have those two. Oh, is that you cut them into little pieces? Okay. Yeah, see, I, I know, right? Aren't those cute as pie, you know, just cute as pie? They're adorable so, so far, but I, I know, bet you're so gonna cute. make them even yeah. better. So the thing is, this is kind of a small project. Okay. So what I did is I've kind of put this project on steroids to visually show you. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's just much easier because those are, they're little, little guys. Okay. So there's this really awesome product I like to use. This is called, you're gonna love the name. It's called Unicorn Spit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not the worst name that I've heard. There's this hair product called Gorilla Snot that has unicorn oh. spit beat. I gotta tell you, they must work really, really well. <laughs> I mean, who, who makes up these names? Oh my God, Gorilla. Oh, look yeah, out. Okay. yeah. All right. Gorilla, well, just this is not this is all over the house. Unicorn, okay. unicorn spit, and what I love about it, it uh, there's like ten different colors, and they're very bright and vibrant. Um, and it's also, it's kind of, it's a paint, but it can also be as a glaze or a stain. It's kind of this multi-purpose stuff. And so what I'm gonna do is I squirt it out. Also what I like about it, it's really easy to use, you see? It goes yeah. directly where you want it to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, so then, whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no worries. So then I just put it in the center and I'm just gonna make a circle like that. Okay. Okay. All right. So easy. far, so good. Yeah. So, right. Easy, easy, easy. I'll set that down. So now here's a lighter blue. I like that. And I'm going to put this around the outside. So I'm doing this, uh, this big boy, my big steroids, big guy. So this is the exact same thing I would do on the little guys. Got you. No, I okay. understand. Got it. So there, I circled it around like that. Okay. And then I take the paintbrush and I go around it like this. So I did, this is a second paintbrush right here. Right, okay. correct. Okay, there's number two. Then I have some space in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a little water. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna start to blend. This, this technique is kind of called like, uh, not kind of like, it is. It's called ombre. Yes, I was just and gonna I, say it, that. I'm familiar with ombre and that's exactly what that looks like. Cool. Well, I'm more, I'm more familiar with ombre on your hair. You know, like the gorilla, the gorilla snot. But no, yeah. I, I, this, the concept is the same. You're sort of blending in the darker to the lighter, the lighter to the darker. I, I get it. Exactly. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is pretty. I know, it's so pretty. Um, and so, so now, there's the big boy. Okay. I'm gonna set it over here. 
So here's, we're gonna go back to the little guys. <laughs> right. Okay? Yeah. So you can get these magnets at any um, hardware store, you know, um, and so forth. Oh, also that you guys, um, the unicorn spit too. What, what I love about this, you can get it, it's for eclectic products. They're out of Eugene, local. Oh, just had but, someone um, out of Eugene. Also, yeah, also at any hardware store, any craft store, even a drug store, you can get it. Okay. So magnets. So I got this little magnet here. So after this is dry, okay. flip it over like that. And um, I use that E6000 because I like this little tube here. Mm -hmm. It goes really, um, once again, plop it there. It goes directly where you want it to go. And then all I do is I plop the magnet on the top like that. And that's it. And you let it dry. How long does it take to dry? <clears throat> you know, I let it dry overnight. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I like to use I like to use this because it's really um, it's really durable because I, like you said, you collect your magnets, so obviously that means you use them. That's and right. so we're moving them around. I've used other glue where the magnet pops off. Oh, uh, I hate when that happens. So this is I perfect. Know. I know you have the right products to use to make it stick. Literally. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I like that. All right, I'm gonna have to make a, what is it called? Unicorn spit? Okay. We'll have all that information and more about Shannon for you on our website at katu.com.